Hello, this is Mike Gagley, and in this video I'm going to teach you how to get a model that you've created in Mimix into ComSol for finite element analysis. Here I've modeled the ulna, and I have wrapped and smoothed that model. So it's a, a pretty nice smooth model, and this is what we want to do some analysis on. Let's say, for instance, we want to fix uh, this end and apply a load to this end and maybe see what happens to this bone. There are two ways to get this done. The first is to make an IGES file and then import that IGES file into COMSOL and have COMSOL then turn that into a mesh but that's kind of going out of your way because we can simply export a mesh straight to COMSOL. Now it's a bit of a common misconception that when you put a mesh into COMSOL you can no long, longer select boundaries or areas of the model to make or to apply boundary conditions to. Um, in fact if you define your surface areas in 3MATIC before you export that mesh then you can actually have those surfaces come with the mesh, then when you get into COMSOL you can apply your boundary conditions to those specific surfaces. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to go up here to the FEA CFD tab and I'm going to hit Remesh. I'm going to select the model of the ulna and hit OK. This is going to move the model into 3MATIC. So here's the model in 3MATIC. And the first thing I like to do is just make sure that it looks good. So I go to the Fix tab, and I select the Fix Wizard. I'm going to select the ulna, and I'm going to update to see what it looks like. So we have all green numbers here in only one shell, which is what we like to see. So we don't need to do any combined fixing. So the first thing to do is to mark the surfaces that you want to apply your boundary conditions to and separate them into new surfaces. So we'll go to the Mark tab and I'm going to select the wave brush mark and I'm going to highlight the end here. Let's say I want this to be the fixed portion. So I'll just select it like that and I'll add a little bit more to that. It gives you a little bit of a rough um, curve there and that's usually expected. I'm going to take this off by holding control and using the wave brush mark you can deselect and now that I have a pretty good selection I'm going to hit the um, smooth marking border button. That's going to smooth that border and create a surface for me. So if we click here you can see that we have a new surface on the end of the bone. So let's go to the other end and maybe this is where we want to apply some sort of load. Um, again, this is just a quick and dirty example um, for reference. So I'm going to go ahead and say that we're going to apply a load here. So let's mark a new surface. Again, let's go with the polyline, excuse me, the wave brush mark. And I will start to select the surface. And um, I'm going to add a little bit more here. And you see that's a uh, pretty good surface. So let's again go to the smoothing mark border and go ahead and hit that and now we have our other surface here. So we have two surfaces, one where we can apply a load and one where we can fix the bone. If you go down to the bottom here and select the view filled with triangle edges, you're going to be able to see the triangles in the model. And you can see that they are uh, a little bit varied, they're different sizes, they're kind of scattered. So what we want to do is reduce the number of those triangles and then do a remesh to make them more high quality. So the first thing to do is to go to the Fix menu and we will select Reduce. Um, now you see down here we don't have very many options showing, that's because we don't have Expert Mode turned on. So go ahead and turn Expert Mode on and use the normal mode. We're going to use a threshold angle of 15. I'm going to change the geometrical error to 0.1. Let's do five iterations of that. So I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. And if we check our logger, we 
um, can see that we did that uh, reducing operation. Now we're going to go to an remesh menu. We're going to do an auto remesh. Again, make sure your expert mode is on. You're going to want to use the height base N and then you're going to want to change your shape quality threshold to 0.4. Let's do the maximum geometrical error to 0.4. We're going to want to control the max triangle length to 10 and we are going to do uh, one iteration. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. You can see now that our triangles are more high quality than they were. There's quite, a, quite fewer of them as well. So that's, that looks like a nice surface mesh. So the next thing we want to do is create a volume mesh. So to create a volume mesh, go up to the Remesh tab, go down to Create Volume Mesh, and select our entity here. Um, go ahead and leave the mesh parameters and qualities at the default settings, but I'm also going to add uh, some local volume mesh parameters, and I'm going to add our surfaces to that um, region. This is going to help keep the lines that define our surfaces smooth. If you do not add sur the surfaces to these entities, when you import your file into Comsol, the uh, lines that make up the edge of the surface will be a little bit jagged and, and not smooth like we intend them to be. So go ahead and hit apply and we'll see down here that we created a volume mesh. Okay, so now we need to export that mesh to Comsol. So let's go ahead and click File, Export, Comsol. I'm going to select our smooth wrapped ulna model. And your export options, you want to export both the surface and the volume mesh. And then really important is face split options. You want to face split by surface. So the reason we made those three surfaces is so we can use the boundaries to apply our boundary loads. So make sure that's by surface and go ahead and hit apply. Okay. Now let's switch over here to Comsol and go ahead and what I've done is set up a quick study, a 3D study with solid mechanics physics and a stationary study. Go ahead and right click your mesh, import, and on this select Comsol Multiphysics file, then go ahead and browse to find your file. And when you found your file, hit import. And so there is our mesh. And you'll notice we still have those nice smooth uh, boundary surfaces that we created in 3Matic. So let's go ahead and apply a couple of boundary conditions here just to do a quick and dirty um, study just to show that this works. So I'm going to go ahead and add a boundary load. I'm going to select this surface and let's say we are going to put uh, mm, we'll do total force and we'll say we're pushing in the negative y direction. We're going to push on it that way. And let's just put uh, 10 newtons on it. Okay. Then let's go in solid mechanics and put in a fixed constraint. So we'll go down to the bottom of our model and select this, bound this uh, boundary to apply our fixed constraint to. And let's see, the last thing we need to do is add a material to this. So let's go ahead and add a material. Um, it doesn't really matter for us. Um, I don't think I have a bone-like material in here. Let's see what's built in. Uh, how about iron? We'll say we have Iron Man here. So let's add iron as our material. Of course, this is just for fun. You would definitely want to add some sort of material that would similar properties to bone. And I think that's all we have. So you can go ahead and right click your study and compute and let's see what happens. Okay, so Comsol has solved this problem for us, given us a nice heat map of our von Mises stress. You can see down here there's a little region of higher stress. So that's the whole process of getting 
a model into COMSOL with bounded surfaces that you can apply boundary conditions to by exporting a mesh out of 3Matic. I hope this was informative. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments section and I'll try to answer them for you. Thanks for watching.